now we will understand the phenomenon of sound and then we'll derive the speed of sound which is denoted by small a to understand sound we have to go to the molecular level of the air air contains several molecules which are moving in a random fashion with some velocity and energy now say when you speak or say a small firecracker detonates around you what will happen when a firecracker detonates it releases some energy and this released energy is gained by the molecules of the air subsequently the mean velocity of these molecules will increase now these molecules will collide with the neighbor molecules and in this process in this process of collision they will transfer some amount of the acquired energy to the neighbor molecules and these neighbor molecules will in turn collide with their neighbor molecule and in this fashion the energy released by the detonation of a firecracker will move through the space and the speed at which the energy released by the firecracker travels through the medium is called speed of sound i am saying it again the speed at which the energy released by a firecracker travels at a particular speed through the space and this speed is what we called a speed of sound and that is why a speed of sound depends on the medium and the thermodynamic properties of the medium through which it is traveling we will denote speed of sound by small a now let us assume that this is a sound wave and this wave is traveling at a particular speed of a now we will hop on this wave and we will travel along the wave we know that the sound wave is traveling at a speed of small a and if we hop on the wave we will see that the flow ahead of me will travel at a speed of a and the property of this unaffected flow p rho and t now behind the sound wave we know that when a sound wave passes through a medium we know that the mean molecular velocity of the flow increases and this in turn increases the speed of flow slightly say by da so relatively the speed behind the sound wave will become a plus da we also know that pressure increases slightly and subsequently density will also increase and temperature also increases slightly so this is ahead ahead of the sound wave sound wave if we observe from a stationary frame and this is behind now first we will apply continuity equation continuity equation which is nothing but rho u or rho1 u1 is equal to rho2 u2 is constant so rho1 is rho u1 is a is equal to rho2 is rho plus d rho and u2 is a plus d a this will become we will neglect d rho into d a term because 
it will be very small finally our equation will become d a by a equal to minus d rho by rho let's call it 1 now let's apply momentum equation which is nothing but p plus rho u square is equal to constant so p1 is equal to p plus rho 1 is rho u square u is a a square will equal to p2 means p plus dp plus rho 2 into u2 square now rho 2 is rho plus da and our u2 is a plus da a plus da i will write u2 square as a plus da into a plus da now look at this term this term is nothing but rho into a p plus rho a square is equal to p plus dp plus rho a into a plus da finally we get the equation dp plus rho a d a is equal to 0 now let us multiply the second term by a and divide it by a so rho a square into d a by a is equal to 0 now from equation 1 d a by a is equal to minus d rho by rho d p minus a square into d rho will be equal to 0. So finally our equation will become a square is equal to d p by d rho and this is the fundamental expression of the speed of sound a square is equal to dp by d rho now the next question come before us is that whether we can consider the whole phenomena as isentropic or not isentropic or not so we know that sound wave is nothing but a very weak wave when it passes through a medium it increases pressure density and temperature only slightly only slightly so gradients it produces in a medium gradients it produces in the mediums are very small are very small and this implies that the effect of friction or say heat conduction are negligible effect of this will be negligible that means we can consider that the whole process is reversible at the same time we also assume that we are not adding any heat or extracting any heat from the medium so our process is also adiabatic so adiabatic plus reversible means the whole phenomenon is isentropic and we can write a square is equal to do p by do rho at constant 
Now we know that tau as it is isentropic compressibility is equal to 1 by rho do rho by do p this will be equal to do p by do rho constant entropy 1 by rho into tau s now we know that 1 by rho is equal to nu unit volume by tau s so finally a square is equal to nu by tau s you can write a is equal to nu by tau s now for thermally perfect gas for thermally perfect gas we know that p is equal to rho rt and for isentropic process p is equal to constant times rho to the power gamma this will be equal to do p by do rho at constant entropy is equal to gamma p by rho you can calculate it finally speed of sound a is equal to root of gamma p by rho and also from p is equal to rho rt we can put p by rho is equal to rt so this will become a is equal to under root gamma rt this is the speed of sound